growing up. Uh, the GDR, East Germany, uh, the German Democratic Republic, was very, very alien and strange territory. For me, I had only a very abstract relationship to that. I was very much interested in Berlin, in West Berlin at that time, and that's why I went to college. And my first real-life encounter with the Berlin Wall was when I moved to West Berlin uh, to go to college. And then, of course, living in Berlin for quite a number of years, uh, as I got to very intimately know the city, uh, I also began to uh, discover firsthand uh, the world on the other side of the wall. In the early 70s, talk started between uh, the two Germanys. Uh, travel restrictions were eased to some degree, uh, but not everybody was allowed to travel. There was no guaranteed results, but groups that were allowed to travel were uh, senior citizens and also people with a professional need or interest uh, uh, given that their families remained uh, in the East and that they were also scrutinized for their political, ideological uh, point of view. When the wall came down, I, <laughs> I was in Austin, Texas, uh, in a small little um, outdoor cafe. I heard the news somewhat belatedly um, on TV. It was astonishment, really, because my generation growing up in, uh, uh, in Germany at that time uh, had taken the division of Germany for granted and had really absolutely no uh, short-term or mid-term expectations of that to change. Uh, the events of uh, that summer that led up to um, the fall of the Berlin Wall certainly showed that there were changes going on, but that did not necessarily mean, uh, at least to me, that this would be uh, so soon um, uh, the end of the wall or the end of um, the GDR. Well, it's amazing for me to look back. In many ways, it's hard to believe it's been only 20 years. Uh, within Germany, uh, certainly there are still divisions. One often hears mentioned the wall in the heads. Uh, there's a whole new generation that now grew up um, since the war came down, but I think there's still significant uh, differences, economic differences between regions in the East and regions in the West. It takes a long time to uh, find a common sense of identity, which has always been difficult for Germany because Germany hasn't existed uh, for, for um, a long time with a sense of German identity, really, when it existed, it was forged uh, to rather detrimental uh, effects. For some, it felt as if now the West was colonizing the East, and certainly as far as power structures go and economic and political structures, uh, that's not so far away from the truth. I would actually invite you of age students uh, to explore on their own. There is a partnership, university partnership, between the University of Houston and the uh, Universität Leipzig. And Leipzig is a city in East Germany where the Montags demonstrations, the Monday demonstrations uh, that eventually um, were a major factor in bringing down the wall, where they initiated. There's an exhibit right now at the Houston Public Library downtown. It is important to reflect on all kinds of walls that exist, uh, not just the wall uh, that has come to be known as the Berlin Wall, although it existed between uh, the GDR and the Federal Republic of Germany, uh, but other walls, be uh, it physical walls or uh, barriers uh, that prevent the exchange of ideas, uh, uh, cultural contact or contact between people. And those can be found everywhere, and also right here in Houston, obviously. Um, and I think that's a topic that I would encourage everybody to explore further. As Americans, we were sort of treated with super politeness. The border along Duderstadt, which is a very small town, really right on the border. You could stand in uh, on the edge of Duderstadt and look down the hill into East Germany, and you could see the entire layout of 
the border and the barbed wire and the no man's land and the dog zone and the watchtowers and, and everything. Um, and that's a very depressing, very depressing scene. First, um, there were some months of just general elation and euphoria in which there was nothing other than um, a very sudden release of tension. Later on, of course, um, more problems emerged, and I'm sorry to say that, of course, more problems emerged in the former East Germany, um, where they had difficulties with rising divorce rates and alcoholism and uh, unemployment and more or less all of the social ills that kind of seem to accompany great sudden social change. I have now got friends from East Germany, which would have been impossible for me before. So personally, that's very nice. The University of Houston students should maybe think about, now that they have the freedom to travel through Eastern Europe, to really think about doing so. That, um, when I was in college, people were really fighting to get visas and passports to get to go to those countries that were more or less forbidden for us. And now any of these students could just go there at any time, and I think that they should take the opportunity to, to do it. Yeah, I grew up in a very uh, small town called Schmalkalden. It has even a meaning, small, cold valley, which is located in former uh, East Germany. What I remember is um, because we lived so close to the wall, uh, to the border, uh, to West Germany, that there were several areas we couldn't um, go to, like uh, closer to the border. There were just restricted areas, I guess. We had uh, relatives in West Germany, in Frankfurt, and it was, of course, difficult um, to visit them, to see them. And uh, basically, it was impossible to leave uh, uh, East Germany without a visa. It was a very exciting time for all of us because suddenly, um, you know, the wall came down, there were no borders anymore, we could travel, see our relatives, um, suddenly, um, you know, we could buy um, bananas and oranges. So for all of us, it was, of course, um, a change to the positive first, for the positive. We did grow up um, in a very secure environment, so, and, um, Basically, um, school, everything was provided and mostly uh, free. So, and that changed, of course, after the wall came down. And I remember um, my grandma, for example, she was, um, so the older generation, basically, they had more difficulties to adjust to all the changes. It meant freedom, of course, being more uh, independent. You know, it meant... Uh, being able to travel, um, but it also meant, uh, I think, that's my experience, that for many people, they lost this um, secure feeling. And so they, they felt, I guess, uh, a little lost because now they had to take care of themselves. There was no government who, you know, made decisions or, you know, gave you a kind of a guidance through your life. So, and like I said, it, that was, um, I guess, um, difficult for the older generation. But young people, they, they just, you know, they, you know, enjoyed life, of course, and enjoyed the freedom and, um, you know, not having all these restrictions. Um, you know, when I went to school, it wasn't explained why there is a war. It was just the way it is. I don't think it was discussed. It was... Um, a sudden change, I didn't see it coming, you know, my whole, you know, perspective, you know, how my future will look like changed. The two parts of Germany, you know, they, they are reunited. The parts are together, that belong together. On the other hand, um, because of the many years, you know, the two German parts were separated, the two different cultures basically developed. So that's my experience too. It takes time until, you know, um, you know, it grows, you know, back together.